Whenever I take apart my Lego stuff, I always end up doing something like this, sorting a pile into 1x bricks, 2x bricks, gears, axles, and so on. But what if I told you that I had an automated solution for this, at least for the 2x bricks? Well, I present to you the 2x brick sorting factory. First, I will show it working, then explain how each and every individual part works. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enjoy. And as you can see here, it perfectly sorts the bricks into their respective containers. So first of all, the bricks are pushed up on the conveyor belt by this piece. The piece that does the actual pushing is the white one that's bobbing up and down right now, and the face on it makes it even funnier. The pusher, or elevator, is powered by this gear train here. And here is the motor that powers the conveyor that moves the bricks to the separator. This mechanism stops anything from exploding just in case the belt seizes up for some reason. And let me say, this came very much in use. Multiple times. These rubber wheels are the things that are pushing the bricks through the separator. They are also pressing down with the help of rubber bands to ensure they get a good grip on the brick pushing it along. The wheels are powered with a chain so they can freely move up and down. Each time the separator lever is activated, it allows exactly one brick to pass, stopping the next, ensuring jams never happen. And here's the gear train that powers the separator lever activator. This gear train is actually synced up with the mechanism that drives the belt chain thing that moves the bricks along, but I will get to that in a minute. The separated individual bricks are then pushed above a bunch of holes, finally sorting them by length. The mechanism that powers the chain belt thing that moves the bricks along is this, and it's basically the beating heart of this whole factory. The best name I can give this thing is a precision intermittent motion machine. Its job is to take in continuous rotational power and chop it up into half rotation intervals. As I said earlier, this thing is synced up to the separator level active. I can't even say it one time in a row. Okay, second try. As I said earlier, this thing is synced up to the separator lever activator. It's set up so that right after the chain belt thing stops, it releases a brick, ensuring that it has plenty of time to slide down into place. You can see that exact thing happen here. Right after the belt chain thing that moves the bricks along stops, the separator lever is activated, giving plenty of time for the brick to fall down. If the separator lever was activated any later, or even sooner for that matter, a jam could happen. I suppose I should also mention what the ratchet on this mechanism is for. The output of this mechanism has to go through quite a few gears and axles before it finally gets to power the belt chain thing. The long length of axles that the rotational power needs to travel through leads to a small amount of backwards rotational tension in the axles even when things stop moving. Even though it's small, it can still mess with the perfect timing of the separator lever and the belt chain thing. Here I have a bendy axle to show the effect better with two gears on the ends. You can see that when I twist it, the tension builds up, and when I release it, it springs back to its original position. But with a ratchet mechanism involved, that backwards rotational tension can no longer escape, which is a good thing. The final resting place for the bricks are these orange containers that I ended up 3D printing because I did not have any other containers on hand that fit the size requirements that I needed here. Alright, that's about it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments and I'll get back to you. 
Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Separator lever activator, separator lever activator, separator lever activator, separator lever activator, separator lever activator. Believe it or not, that was actually my first try.